now. Live from Central Louisiana, this is News Channel 5, your local station. Good evening and thank you for tuning in for the News at 6. I'm Dale Hoffman. And I'm Joy Howe. We welcome you watching us here tonight. And if you're heading out the door, grab your mobile phone and take us. Watch us. We are live at KALV.com as well. Okay, never out of touch. All righty. We're learning new details tonight about the so-called same-sex union that took place in Fort Polk. It involved a couple of women, and the union was performed by a chaplain on post. Same-sex marriages are unconstitutional in Louisiana, but Fort Polk is calling this a same-sex union. It seems it's the wording that is causing some division among the military community. New Channel 5's Nolan Crane joins us now at the live desk. Nolan, you spoke with people in Leesville today who are on both sides of this issue. That's right, Dell and Joy. We went to Leesville to talk to the military community about how they feel about what many believe is the first same-sex union performed on a U.S. military post. Leesville is a military community where local businesses show their patriotism and join together to show their support for our troops. But there is now some division around town about the same-sex religious union that took place at Fort Polk. I believe it's wrong. I mean, um, I'm a firm believer in the Bible, and um, the Bible actually states specifically that same-sex marriage is actually an abomination. For man a man, a woman a woman, it's actual abomination. James Collins has lived in Leesville for more than 20 years. And he thinks the same-sex couple broke the law since Louisiana defines marriage as a union between a man and a woman. Listen, the actual law of the state. Now, for them to break that law of the state, that's showing total disrespect that they don't care or care about the military. And if the military allows it, then how is it, what is that showing our kids, the ones that they're trying to bring up to go and join into the military? But Fort Polk says it wasn't a marriage ceremony that took place on post, but rather a religious union, which is allowed. They say that kind of ceremony falls under military policy, and some around town say it falls under their approval. I think it's pretty good. I'm happy for the people. I'm glad you know they get to be together with who they love. I think it's okay because everybody has the right to their own self. What they do is their business. But even though the word union has been established by Fort Polk officials, some still say no matter what you call it, it doesn't make it right. Our kids are looking at the military as joining. So they, they tell our kids it's okay for them to have the same-sex marriages. That, that's, that's, that's wrong. Personally, I'm not for it. I'm not for same-sex marriage. People have a right to do what they want to do behind closed doors, but I don't think that's the right place for it in the military. The military is awesome. I don't care if they're married to a man or a woman or a man and a man or a woman and a woman. It's not going to change anybody's feelings because they're still supporting our country. A town that is united in its support of its military now finds itself divided over a union. The identity of the civil union couple has not been released, but again, we're told it's a lesbian couple. We did reach out and try to contact the chaplain who performed the ceremony, but we're unable to reach that chaplain. We're still waiting on an official statement from Fort Polk. Dell and Joy will bring that to you when we get it. And we'll share that with our viewers. All right, thank you for that report, Nolan. All right, Nolan.